Here it is. Look at this beauty. I mean, oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful this thing is. We've got lettuce and kale and we've got cilantro and strawberries. We've got broccoli. Mmm, we've got some oregano. Oh shit, try this oregano. All right, welcome back. So we are ready to plant our garden tower. So uh, if you didn't see it, go back and watch the first video in the series of how to uh, unbox and put together the garden tower. Um, and uh, you can get that on this channel. And now we are going to fill it with soil, plant it, and rock and roll. Uh, I always recommend an organic blend, of course. We don't want chemicals in our food, especially if our food is supposed to be our medicine. Why are we putting chemicals in our body? We don't want chemicals, so go with organic, of course. And first off, we're gonna fill it about a third of the way up. Fill it a third of the way up, which is about two cubic feet or so, and then we wanna put three gallons of water in there, get that soil nice and moist. Remember, what's really cool about the Garden Tower, specifically this one, the Garden Tower 2, is that it's got this composting mechanism right in the center of it. So, I showed you a little trick on uh, the first video where you can zip tie a couple parts of it so when you pour the soil in, it stays nice and upright. But basically, we're gonna put our compost in there, uh, get some good worms in there, and then actually, uh, make compost tea down here as well. Uh, if you notice, the water that we're using is actually hooked up to a, a filter, just a regular RV filter, and then which gets out like chlorine and fluoride, a uh, bunch of garbage that's in regular water, like if you're not on a well, if you're on city water, for example. And uh, so we run through the filter and then use a hose that is uh, significantly less toxic than a regular <laughs> rubber hose. So, you know, we just like to go the extra step to help keep ourselves healthy, and that means reducing the amount of toxins that are going into the body. All right, so we're gonna repeat and add another third or so of soil. So that's another two cubic feet of soil and put another two gallons in and down here this tray, which will eventually become your compost tea tray, is already getting pretty full. Now as you actually have compost and worms in this over time, which I will do future videos on, so keep an eye out for that, uh, how to actually do the compost and get the worms and all that kind of good stuff. It's gonna fill up this tray over time you want, especially as you're watering it uh, in the beginning more often, like at least daily or every other day, and that gets filled up with, uh, with water, that water's pulling nutrients from the soil and from the compost that you're gonna have in there. So you wanna use that, pour it back in as often as possible. You don't wanna let it sit you don't want to let it sit for very long. The longer it sits and gets more and more oxygen, the less effective it becomes. So, so if you're watering it each day, just check it once a day and then pour it back in, okay? So we're gonna to top off the rest here now. Just need to be able to access the lid on top for the compost, right? Open and close that. As long as you can Daddy. open and close that, you're good to go. Yes, sir. Now we're going to water one more time. I already got it. Go and look. So, so far, we used three gallons on the bottom, two gallons oh, in the middle. Luna, come here. And I think one gallon on the top is going to cover it. Of course, if you want your own garden tower, two, this is a garden tower, two, by the way, just go to organicgardentower.com and you can get this exact same system. 
I added on the caster wheel system so that I can roll it around anywhere that I want it. It's very cool that you can spin it around as well. If you only get sun that's kind of one direction, you can spin it if you need to. If you need more sun on one side, it's a very sweet system. Wheel it around wherever you want it. So for this particular potting soil that we use, which is organic coast of Maine, um, just regular potting soil, this took four, took five cubic feet, which wasn't much, really. Three bags of two cubic feet each and you're good to go. All right, so let's plant some vegetables and berries. I'm so excited. We got a lot of amazing stuff to plant. We got lettuce and strawberries and, and kale and broccoli and broccolini. We've got cilantro and parsley. Daddy, um, what are these ones? I got them from right here. Yep, those are some broccoli right there. All kinds of good things. Uh, the the system these comes kind of with broccoli. <laughs> the system comes with a chart that shows you some of the best places to plant specific things. Everything we got can pretty much be planted anywhere. Doesn't really matter. But like if you're doing melons or cucumbers or things like that, obviously plant them on the bottom so they can really spread out. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are going to be up in these higher areas here. But a lot of this, the Daddy, what about these ones? But a lot of the lettuces and broccolis and kale and mm -hmm. strawberries can pretty much go anywhere just easily. So remember, we're growing our food because food is medicine. And all this food we're planting has tons of medicine. Sulforaphane in kale and broccoli um, is, is anti-cancerous. They're high in minerals, they're high in phytonutrients and antioxidants. They are high in vitamins, they're high in, in protein. I mean, these are, these are your medicine. You make a salad with it every day. Obviously, you're not gonna get majority of your calories from these kinds of foods, but you're gonna add this into your diet, into a smoothie or into a salad each day. You can get these anti-cancer nutrients, these, uh, the, the fiber, the health benefits of the vitamins and minerals, gonna help with anti-aging, help with telomere length, help with reduction of uh, blood pressure and reduction of heart disease risk. All these things, just by growing a little bit of our own food and with the garden tower, makes it easy. You don't need a huge space to grow a ton of food. You can fit 50 plants in here. So. Oh, sure. What you're doing here, let's go ahead and uh, actually plant. So what we do, why don't you come in, Luna. So take your plant and uh, see these roots are really wrapping around here nicely. Um, we're going to open a space like this. Can you see that? We're going to put it down just right to the top of the roots and then we are going to Maybe even grab a little bit of our leftover soil if we need to. Just put a little extra in there, like that. And just make it nice and snug, not too tight, not too loose. And then make it snug with your fingers. Yep, grab a little soil in there, like that. And pack that in. That's good to go. So obviously you can grow with seeds and growing with seeds is going to be a lot more affordable. You can get a packet of seeds for a few bucks, comes with dozens of seeds, right, for most plants. Um, it's a little bit late in the season for us. We want to get food growing immediately and so we went and got some starters. Obviously you get some starters in there, you're going to have food growing very quickly. And, um, and that's wonderful if you want to start from seed as well. You know, you can you can do it from seed. Either way works fine. So, the cool thing about a lot of this, as many of you know, is one little plant of lettuce is going to bloom into a nice big plant, and we can get at least you know a few heads of lettuce out of that one plant. So, in terms of affordability, you're saving significant money by growing your own food. In terms of sustainability. It's not trucking across the country and it's, you know, growing in your own backyard and you have to go to the grocery store and spend gas and time and money and all that. Literally, you walk to the backyard, you clip a few leaves, you make a salad, right? Couldn't be any more sustainable than that. Um, and health-wise, you know what you're putting into it. You're putting organic soil, putting filtered water, love, sunlight, 
fresh air, and you know you're getting the healthiest food on the planet when you do it this way. All right, look at this beauty. So I know it's dark. We are going to water. We got everything nice and snug. You plant the whole top ring as well. Uh, make sure everything's nice and snug. There's soil around all your plants. Roots are in, and then nice little water for everything around. And then uh, tomorrow in the morning in the light, we will come back out, do a quick little film and show you this beautiful garden tower in the morning with the sunlight. Here it is, look at this beauty. I mean, oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful this thing is. We've got lettuce and kale and We've got cilantro and strawberries. We've got broccoli. Mmm, we've got some oregano. Oh shit, try this oregano. Some lettuce, we got lots of lettuce, lots of parsley. Ooh, look, we got some mint, and some mint. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. You want some? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna let all this grow. The soil's still nice and wet because we watered last night, so I'm not gonna water it right now, but We'll water it again tomorrow. The first couple weeks, it's important to keep it nice and damp, keep it nice and moist, so a little watering each day, at least for the first couple weeks, so the roots and everything can really settle in. Let's see our compost tray is really full of water, so again, we're gonna pour most of this back in since everything's really wet right now from all the watering we did last night I probably won't put all of this in there right just yet and in the next video we are going to go through a composting system I'm going to put the compost in there I'm going to show you the worms that I've got we'll put the worms in there and we'll show you how that whole system works so make sure you stay tuned for the next uh, video as well on the compost system organicgardentower.com if you want your own i mean look at this this thing is so this thing is so amazing literally i can will it over here to get more sunshine if i want it over here like this moves nice and easy Put on a nice flat area of course. Right here, right in front of our kitchen window, a true kitchen garden. Clamp it down so it doesn't move around. It's gonna get nice 360 degree sunshine right here because we got the sun that comes up over here Daddy, and it's gonna what about right here? set this way into the west. And this is about 50 plants right here. I mean, if I put this out into like a raised bed garden, for example, it would take at least an eight foot bed by roughly probably five or six foot bed. So, you know, that's great if you want raised bed gardens. A lot of people don't have space for that. You could get two or three of these and that's like having, just imagine the amount of food that you get in just one of these let alone if you had two or three, and you don't need much space at all, obviously since we are vertical growing. So self-contained, its own compost system, organic soil, organic everything, filter water. Ooh, some basil. Yeah, try the basil, basil's delicious. Don't mind me. Got our own medicine here. Oh, you want some basil? I want some basil. I want some basil. Wait. Our own food, our own medicine, right here. Don't even know, need to go to the grocery store for our salad stuff. It's all right here. So anyway, check out OrganicGardenTower.com. Get one for yourself and uh, follow along because I'll do, be okay. doing update videos. I'll be doing a full review after using it uh, for a few months. And um, I'll be doing the uh, compost composting as well. So there it is. I wish you so much health and happiness, and we will talk to you next time.